know what to stop for me So ask if you raise your glass, you pass the test Night is still young, there ain't no stress Well, I drink to this and I drink to that Don't know why I'm drinking, I don't mind Just grab yourself a glass, let's have a drink You raise your glass Let's have a little soul So raise your glass And let's have a little more Raise your glass Let's fill it to the top Let's see the bottoms of you Raise your glass Hey, you loud Wait, 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 wait Man, how come I'm too bad? I'm going to call it the 9-1-1 or something? No, no, I gotta do it like this Okay, okay I gotta do it like that This is Doubtfire. Uh, why? Hi, and welcome to another episode of Beer Show and B. Tonight, still with Joel. Hello. Awesome. Uh, tonight, we're doing a beer that actually, this place we're going to visit <coughs> during our big ass road trip. Um, I have already talked to them, and we have a free glass. A free glass? When we go to see them. God. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, tonight we're doing a beer from Maybe Brew. Brew it, well, uh, Maybe Brew it. Maybe Brew. Brewing company. Company, whatever. <laughs> Brewing company. This one is a strong beer. This one is the Stone House Triple. 8.6% ABV. Oh, yeah, and they're from uh, outside of Fredericton also. Well, not outside. Man, another triple IPA coming my way, eh? I told oh, your your foot oh playing God, with the sorry guys. Oh no, no, no okay, you're, you're earthquake. You're, you're, in, you're in frame. You're I'm earthquake. in frame. I'm in frame. Earthquake. Here, I'll let you pour your glass. So yeah. Uh, oh man, this smells way different. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pour it. Uh, I've had some beers from uh, maybe brew it. I like the so well. I like Alder Beer, but the one I like is so far is the Eleven Z's, the stout they have. We sit in a bit point six. A lot clearer than the for wow for a triple IP. It's a lot clearer than the others. Eh? Boy, so how are you starting to feel now? Like I did like half an hour ago. Oh yeah, fuck, even clearer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a lot clearer than the other ones. Oh, yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Here you go. Oh, this one has more of a... It's a lot different smell. This one has more of a multi-taste. Multitask. <laughs> mm. Multitask. Man, it smells good. We sit that plus it has more of a smell like a a lager. No, wait. Has malt well wait, yeah. He, ag he agrees upstairs. Ooh. This one is awesome. Belgium style golden strong. Well, that's why I done. Lager ale. There you go. That's why that smell there. I don't know about this one, man. Dry and appro approachable. I don't know about this one. It's like a smell of it, like a very your foot again. Oh fuck, I'm sorry. Oh fuck man. Wear skis, okay. You know what I get? Sm it's it's not that kind of beer. I'm just saying what I find what it smells like. You could find a different smell. But for uh, me, excuse me Exactly. For me, it smells like a stronger smell than Budweiser. Yeah. Yeah. Moved you. It has, it has a malt, malt smell. Strong uh, alcohol also. I, I still don't know about the taste, man. Wait, we do your thing. We do your thing. God damn! Made it worse. <laughs> Was it? 
I, I, we've, we've tried, I've, oh, mean Scott at the time, we've tried the Triple Abbey from Grim Ross. And did not taste like this. This one is more on the malt side. It doesn't say a Belgian style golden strong ale, complex, dry, and approachable. Um, hmm. Like this one here, man. I don't think I'll be able to finish this one. This one, it's not, it's not sitting well on me. Well, I mean, not that's not sitting well, but I mean, it's just, it's not my cup of tea. Uh, actually, get some wheat, some malt. I can taste the high ABV. Um, sweet, if you sweet, the sweet. Yeah, it is. That's the malt. The sweetness is the most. Oh, when we did the uh, the uh, the visit with the malt house in Pittsburghville, we learned a lot of stuff that I'm going to learn you. Learn. That's not a word. I'm going to you're, learn you're you. You're going to learn me. I'm going to learn you, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, brother. <laughs> uh, teach you some stuff. Mm -mm. No, man, I'm having a hard time to get around this one. Like, it's not like it's. I feel it in between, and I don't know if I if I like it or if I don't. <clears throat> honestly, I, I, honestly, I, I, I I'm gonna go. Okay, you go, you go, you then go. you go. Um, you go. Just because of the unsureness of it, and like, I don't know, it's not, it's not hitting me like the others did. Uh, I'm gonna put this one as a five, not, not because it's not good, or it's just I'm, I'm unsure about it. I don't know. If it's, it, ta it's, it tastes like a very strong Budweiser. Yeah, yeah. Or Coors Light. Like you know what? Like it's, it's because Coors, like, but Budweiser is more malty. Mm -hmm. Coors Light is more and more corn. When I, when I drink these, man, you know, like I want to get these unique flavors. I want to get these. Uh, this one's unique. It's, it's very unique, but like, it, but yet at the same time, it's familiar. At the same time, it's not unique. It's familiar. Yeah. It's it's a familiar flavor. You know what I mean? Like, boy, I don't want to buy a corporate beer. You know what I mean? Not saying that I didn't do it. <laughs> wink, wink. Um, if you ever try. Uh, cold distilling. No. You take, I'll say like 10 cans or 10 bottles of Budweiser, put it in a container, put it in the freezer. Whatever that doesn't freeze, but put it in a bottle, put it back to freeze. Whatever that doesn't freeze, Put it back in the bottle. Put it in back in the freezer. If it doesn't freeze, then it's pure alcohol. Then put it up with a little bit of Budweiser. And there you go. That's what you get. Hmm. Cold distilling. I'm not saying this is what it tastes like. But this is what it reminds me of. It's a it's a familiar it. flavor. Yeah, it's like I said. It's like it's not like I'm not being like, oh man, this beer is bad. And I'm not. That's not what I'm saying at all. I mean, like, actually, that that's a pro that's a project I want to do for uh, for cider. Do some hard cider mm. instead of having five. No, no, no. Instead of having five or six percent cider, we can bring it up to. Probably thirty to forty. Hard cider. Cold distilling. It's uh, you got to do it right. I know how to do it. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't film it, but uh, but it's something that it 
It's not illegal because there's no rules for it. If you buy a distil distiller from, say, like Amazon, whatever, then you probably need a, it's like a pot, pot still, then you would need a license or whatever. But cold distilling, just put it in the freezer, and then put it in the freezer, pour with the rest, put it in the freezer, whatever that's unfrozen, it's hard cider or hard liquor. Um, but you gotta be very careful. Because once it once it's unfrozen, it's you got a little shot glasses. That's it. It can give you a hangover. <laughs> so a stone house triple. Um. Man, I'm still, I'm still kind of like befumbled about it. It's all right, but uh, you guys want to go into the high ABVs? Okay, probably some some people will love it. Will love it. I had no. No, there's a, there's a type of person for every beer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for this one, uh, it's not for me. Uh, some people, other people will, will say, oh my God, this is awesome. Good for you guys. I, no problem. Uh, but for me, uh, if you want to go in the high, I high ABV, probably this one, probably like, a, uh, you guys should try probably a Imperial, uh, Imperial IPA or a Imperial, uh, Stout. Uh, I don't know if they have any or they have any idea of they're gonna do it, uh, but uh, not for me. Uh, six. Uh, yeah, no, no, I thought that's a fair rating, man. You know, I mean, I mean, I'm even ready to move mine. I'm, I'm ready to move mine from a five to a six. The reason why is because, like, dude, the, the, the reason why is because, like. I'm like, ah, I don't know how I feel about it, but yet I still go back to it. You know what I mean? It's beer show and be, you gotta finish it. I know, but I mean, no, it's just like personally. <laughs> I know. It's the way it's the way I feel about it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, ah, I didn't know how I felt about it. Then like, let's kind of on taking sips of it. I'm like, hmm, maybe it's not that bad. But I'm comfortable with the six. I like I like that six. The first initial taste is the a hard, but high like, ABV Budweiser. Yes, because before Beer Show and B, my beer of choice was Budweiser and Coors Light. Maybe, so that's it, why I say is it's it a the, high baby. So but, is it the same thing for you where since doing Beer Show and B, I know I didn't do it, it's been a long while, but I have a hard time drinking Budweiser. I have a hard time yeah. drinking I have a hard time drinking Bud Light. Now now like when sometimes when we go to Cross Point or I will uh I, yes, I occasionally buy a 60 a pack of but uh, Coors Light, but it's just for casual drinking. Uh, it's just, it, excuse me. Holy fuck, man, that was epic. That one came from like last year. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's just, I, I buy some, yes, regularly here and there, but craft beer is something, but is something that I like now. As an example, but sometimes like, oh, I just take one of my growlers and I go to 13 barrels and hey, give me some Dog Days IPA or some Gnarly. There you go. So yeah, a, what was it? Eight or seven? Seven for me and no, you got a six. Six, six for me. Six. Bow, bow, chicken, well, six. Uh, <laughs> six. Uh, see you guys on the next episode. See you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs>